That is how you have to handle the old baby backpack. Forrest is uh, great, but you know, he definitely has his preferences. And the thing is with this baby backpack, if we take him out now, this is his first day in it. If we take him out now, then he'll learn obviously that if he screams and cries, he gets what he wants. So we really prepped um, Druba about once he's in, just take off. And, and we'll catch up. And, and we'll catch up. And basically when he stops the fit, then, you know, at that point, it's okay to take him out. We just have to have him learn and understand that there's no choice. He's in the baby pack back <laughs> for the next few days and, uh, and he'll learn the lesson and that's okay. I think tomorrow will be much smoother and maybe even after lunch will be smoother. We are officially road walking uh, Ajun for about an hour, yeah? On the road or two hours, did you say? About an hour. Yes. About an hour on the road. And then what happens in that hour? We uh, hit an extension bridge? Uh, we hit one extension uh, suspension bridges. And suspension. Then, suspension. <laughs> yes, I said the wrong word. Yeah, oh well. After lunch, we hit another uh, suspension bridge. Cool. I'm pretty excited for these uh, suspension bridges. Now, kids, how you feeling? First couple of steps. Oh yeah, watch out for the poop. Ah! They call those landmines, I suppose. All right. Now, you might be wondering, where's Forrest? He is out of even earshot of us, so we don't hear him screaming. We're just going to assume. He's happy as a clam, but basically at break points uh, is when we'll catch up with Forrest. All right, so new territory. All right. The first step into newness. The first step into Ciao. hiking to Nepal. made it. Okay. National Park. Yeah, it feels great. Feels great so far. And the weather could not be better. Oh, yeah, overcast, slightly chilly. Motorcycle. It's slightly chilly. It's perfect. All right, so crossing our first bridge, although not a suspension bridge, it is a pretty cool bridge anyway. Yeah, it's pretty neat. But it's a, it's a Russian river. But yeah, it's, I don't want to fall in this one. Yeah, wow. Oh, it's really beautiful. And you get the shot of the town right up the ridge of the mountain there. Very cool. Yeah, the kids are doing great so far. Yeah, I mean, it's only been... Uh, Three minutes. 11. Is it 11 minutes? But uh, energy so far? Pretty good. So good. We had a big breakfast, so that was nice. Yeah, the hostel food was uh, pretty good. The yeah. tea house, not hostel. The tea, tea house. house, yep. That was good. Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, and away we go. Well, these dogs, you got to give it to them. They are certainly dedicated. Yeah. Has anyone thought of a name for the dogs? Well, How about. Baldy. Baldy. And bankrupt. And bankrupt. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, Baldy and Bankrupt coming along with us for the ride. Good names, guys. Good names. That was awesome, Granite. All right. And our next batch of wild animals. Bunch of goats. They have no concern for us. But they definitely have a sharp eye on Baldy over there. Yeah, cool. <sighs> Whew. Been quite a little bit of a stretch now. How there's you guys some, feeling? There's some baby goats. Yeah, I see the baby ones. Those are called kids, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Cool. Super cute. How you guys feeling? Much better after my accident. Yeah. 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 A little, uh, so, a little, a little upset tummy, but uh, as soon as you uh, released now the upsetness, now you're good to go. Yep. Cool. All right. Yeah, well. Just getting a little hungry. You're getting hungry. Okay. Well. Yeah, we do have, we did bring some snacks yep. uh, in our packs. So everyone has yeah, Apple, Snickers bar, a um, few of those little digestive, I guess you call them like cookies. Just around the corner here is a tea house and I believe this is where Forrest is. So we're going to go catch up with him. But this bridge, uh, this is all damaged from the 2015 earthquake and they just haven't, uh, rebuilt but it, it looked a little sketch anyway but now it's all bent and not usable at this point so we continue around this way not an official lunch stop or anything it's only nine in the morning but a good opportunity to catch up with our little guy let for see uh kelly first <laughs> all right 
across the wooden bridge. Namaste. Hello. All right. Where's our little buddy? No. No backpack. <laughs> no backpack? You had fun or no? No. No fun? Okay. Mommy, yeah, did. Oh, oh look at little friend. Yeah. Let me pet the cat. Okay, pet it. Mommy. Touch it. Yeah. I hold you. Run away. <laughs> All right, so that, how long, what time? 8.30, so that was about an hour and a half to get yep. here. Yep. Is that about average, or are we on a slower pace? It's average. It's average. average, okay, so good, we're not too slow. Happy to hear that. All right, good time, Forrest? Oh yeah, Mama's so sweaty. He doesn't like that I'm sweaty. Oh yeah, so sweaty. How did, uh, how did Forrest do for you? How, how long did he, like, cry? Yeah, it's like 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's yeah. about right. And then he just sort of yeah. mellowed out. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Now that we're settled, a little bit about the weather. So, it's been great all morning. It did get a little cooler mm -hmm. as we were down by the river. Yeah, that felt great. Yeah, it was a nice. Little, little breeze and a little cooler. And then they started to sprinkle a little bit. Of it. it had a little, yeah, a little sprinkle. Now, for forests, unfortunately, we packed he has warmer clothes he has socks yeah. and all that but we packed them in the duffel bag which our porters took off with i mean yeah. rightfully so we just forgot yeah. to like think about bringing them out so he's going to be a little bit cooler today it's not too bad for him but uh you know we'll obviously need to make sure we don't make that same mistake twice yeah tomorrow. and we do have a little jacket for him you have the, ja the jacket the yep. red jacket okay. yep. so we'll have at least a little jacket for him as we continue down the trail right uh in that little baby backpack you're probably wondering why are we hiking during the monsoon during the rainy season and that is because we planned our trek back in december and then that trek we had to cancel because of the of, global situation yeah so restrictions to get in and yeah once yeah. nepal changed that it worked out for this summer so we were either going to go now and here we are or delay for another year in december where it's more the peak season yeah. but it is pretty nice being here off peak it's not very crowded off peak, at it's all. not crowded it's overcast but not uh not pouring rain yet because the monsoon yeah. is just starting right now yeah. and uh yeah i think it's gonna be good you got a friend eh yeah. what's her what's your name what's your name Tawa Sangwa? Yeah, Tawa Sangwa. Hi. Hi. Forrest, look, a little friend. Forrest is way more interested in the cat than the, than the little girl. So uh, Baldy and Bankrupt have made it uh, thus far. I can't believe they got some uh, some stick to itness. I thought they were going to turn off a while back, but uh, here they are. I hope they don't get lost. <laughs> the life of a dog, huh? For an hour with us. Yeah. All right, so when it comes to water refilling, you have a few options. All of these tea houses are going to have uh, bottled water, uh, but you can also fill from the tap here. And that's what we're opting to do. We are filling, we're going to try to like have a lower carbon footprint, I suppose, uh, by not buying a bunch of plastic bottles if we can help it. So what we do basically is we ref refill from the tap and then we use a stereo pin to filter the water and essentially that looks like this little gadget. We got this one off of Amazon. We've used these in the past, Kelly and I. Uh, this one's great. It just charges by USB port and it uses uh, ultraviolet light. So for a half a liter, it's just two clicks. And then for in 48 seconds, we will have clean water for granite to drink and then obviously all the rest of us. So on a full liter, it takes, I think, like 90 seconds. And so a half a liter. And it's a UV light, so it's killing any sort of bacteria or whatever is uh, part of the, whatever's in the water. So it'll kill that. So I got about 23 more seconds left. And just stir, stir, stir the whole time. 15 more seconds. I don't know if you can see the ultraviolet light in the camera or not, but it's certainly uh, glowing. All right, five more seconds. Okay, so we got a smiley face. Good to go, and that's a, that's now a treated water, so Granite could uh, totally drink that. Comes with a plastic case into the satchel. 
Not sponsored, but uh, something that we will use all throughout the trip. Yeah, gorgeous, huh? It's gorgeous, and I think the kids are doing really good. Yeah. Their spirits are high right now. Yes. They each had an apple, and I think that helped, and yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good call to grab those apples. So just that constant feeding, <laughs> uh, I think will we'll go a long way with them. Yep, absolutely. All right, continue on. Uh, June is our guide, and he is with, of course, the Nepal hiking team, and he has been great. Very friendly, awesome with the kids. Let's talk about a June. Yeah, let's talk about him. He's so cool. He's super laid back and yeah. he understands kids. So when yeah, he has his own kids. He also has three kids. Yes. Yes. So he, he totally gets it. Like Thor throwing a Can't fit. Know. It doesn't face him at all. <laughs> nope. So to come with the Nepal hiking team and connect with a June as your guide, yeah. uh, that's a win, especially if you've got children, smaller age children. I mean, granite's 10. Cedar's eight, Forest is three. We've only been to Nepal twice. We've come both times with young kids and both times the quarters have been awesome with our kids. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're debating, I don't know if my kid's old enough, I would say go for it. Having young kids in Nepal is, at least from our experience, Nepal, this now our second are, turn. They love kids. No problem. So yeah. 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 Okay, Cedar, are you gonna pop your tent up and camp here for the night? Uh, yeah. This is where you wanna sleep? It's a nice spot. Granite, how are you feeling? Good. Yeah? A little rock. tired. A little tired. Not too bad. Well, probably like uh, 10 o'clock, a couple hours, we'll have lunch and refresh, and then it's just a shorter hike after lunch to the hotel. All right. And so are we just going to hang here for a little bit or? Yes. Okay. 10, 15 minutes? Okay. Do you want a tea? Would this be a place to get a tea or should we? Yeah, if you want to, we can have a cup of tea. Okay. And then we just want about an hour and a half more. Hour and a half more till lunch? Okay, so it's about 10 o'clock. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll get a tea. We'll let you know. All right, so we did opt to get uh, some teas. So this is the boiled water that they made probably this morning. So the tap water boiled, then it gives me, you know, much less concern about any sort of uh, contaminants or anything like that. So uh, Sarah is going to reboil the water and then throw together all the ingredients for the tea. So we'll take a look, but here's the kitchen. Uh, nice kitchen. So all dishes, got tomatoes, you've got a bunch of like uh, chili peppers in here. Obviously all the eggs, lentil dishes, some sodas that I'm sure hikers buy. And these are just more supplies that a potential uh, hiker would buy or if they were themselves eating at this place. I mean, here's all your noodles. And I don't know, some kind of like uh, pickled vegetables there. Garlic, lots of garlic some kind of gourd pumpkin. So yeah, this looks like a nice place. Uh, definitely uh, a place that you could eat a uh, full one shot. Hello, how are you? Thank you for letting me film. <laughs> very, very nice place. Huh? It's a nice place, you like? Yeah, Sounds yeah. Good. I wish we would stay here, but uh, we gotta keep going on today. Very, very nice place. Okay. Yeah, thank you, I'll follow you, sir. I'll give you a thank family. You. Okay. All right, so just like that, a couple of teas. I mean, this, you couldn't ask for a more beautiful place. Oh, oh this looks Is this good. not like the best spot for tea? Oh, this is the best spot for tea, I think. Oh, and the sun's coming out. Yes, so it's getting warmer. Yeah. So again, we'll just hang here. Beautiful nice. spot. All right, while we're finishing up tea, we'll quick bathroom. Oh. Bathroom oh. hunt this way. Okay, good size. It's, it's Lux, king size. Got a little hot water in demand there. All right, bud. Good luck. <laughs> good All right. Toilet, it's a nice toilet. It's a good bathroom. The uh, best. The best bathroom. Big. Uh, yeah. You leave the door open. Good view. Oh. Uh, and that guy was great. He was showing us all types of videos on his phone from black bear that are out here, red panda that he sees all kind of down by the river there. So uh, you know, if you keep our eyes peeled, he saw the last red panda he saw was a month ago, kind of up high in one of the trees. So. You gotta keep one eye on the footing and one eye up in the trees for a red panda. Kids are doing well. A couple of rocks in the shoe stops. But again, as a 10 year old and eight year old, no problem. Yeah. They're the perfect age for hiking. Totally. Like this is great. And the fact that forest can be carried is a great time to come. Yeah, that was really a lot of the reason why we came to Nepal. 
because again before cedar was three being carried and we knew if he didn't come soon then forest would be too big to really be carried um, and too small you know to continue these long days of the trek so anywhere from three and lower yeah just fine and then when they get to be eight and ten it's a great day great trail there they go the old donkeys so well behaved Woo. so the old donkey that of course is how they get all the goods from town to these tea huts is uh, on the back so here's some empty propane tanks this guy must have lost the lottery empty propane tanks going down and again they'll fill them back up and right back up the trail they go so this is the, the big transportation to get all the uh, all the goods hey wait hold on kelly just said she's got a leech on her all right oh that's one of those little things no it's a leech it's Jeez. a leech I think I all can right, you gotta pull it off yourself. I can't. Watch it. He got it. Got it? Do you have a blood spot? <laughs> no. Nah, I can see where it was. Yeah. Cool. Is this top from the tree? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Blood suckers. Oh. All right. That's my first leech. Watch yourself for leeches. I thought they're not leeches though. What are they? Are they leeches? Leeches, yeah. Wow, tree oh, leeches. leeches. Yeah, I thought those were inchworms. It looked like it, but then you looked stuck. Yeah, so that was what was on you. I had an inchworm? A leech. Yikes. <laughs> All right, well. Okay, so what do we have, about an hour? Uh, less than an hour. A little less than an hour to get to lunch, so even better. And uh, that'll be a nice break coming up. Yeah, it definitely looks like multiple different businesses. So Sherpa Guest House. I see Tibetan Guest House over here. So just a lot of different options for your stay yeah okay i think i see forrest sitting at the tibetan guest house all right and we made it hello okay We made it! Forrest, how was that? No back. Oh, you're done with the back X? Yeah, no back. Okay, well, we'll take a big break. How about that? All right, well, oh, some butterflies. Cool, very pretty area. Are you a fifth day one? A lot of the different spots you could uh, chill here. All right, well, this is definitely the lunch spot, so we'll get food, we'll get coffee. Drinks for the kids. Woohoo! Forrest, you see mommy? Mommy, no, Papa! <laughs> Not, hi, I love you, I missed you, it's just straight to no backpack. You want a big break? Yeah. Okay, big break. Woohoo, how was that, Granite? Good, but I almost died. Almost died? The big rocks over there? Yeah. I was walking on them, I yeah. slipped. Right before my head touched it, my arms. Whew, well, I'm uh, very thankful you didn't die. Yeah. Would have put a bummer on the, the whole experience. <laughs> I stepped in poop and slipped. I was like, I stepped in some of that donkey poop. I was like, whoa. So uh, that was not intentional, of course. Cedar, how was that hike for you? Yeah, I stepped in the poop. Oh, you also stepped in the poop, huh? A little bit. Yeah. Was that harder? Yeah. That was a harder hike. So, okay, we'll get, uh, figured, uh, we'll go figure out lunch here and, uh, get settled. All right, got everything ordered for lunch. We'll step inside. Namaste. Thank you. And, uh, take a look inside. These kitchens are always fascinating to, uh, see, uh, what's going on. Oh, hello. Namaste. Oh, this is the potato. That's, that's the curry. Ooh. Oh, wow. So can we order that in the future? Yes, that's good. Then, what? How do you order that? Just so potato curry? We are having dalbat for lunch and dinner every day. Every day. So that's coming with uh, uh, dalbat. 
Okay, that comes with yeah. Dollbot. Okay, and is it the same thing like before where on the Dollbot, yes. you can get refills and all that? Yes, I'm um, okay. many portion on the side. All right, yeah, all right, yeah. So we'll definitely get some Dollbot in our future. That yes. looked pretty good. So you can see, obviously, the uh, wood fire place, and that is just boiling, boiling away. And a big kitchen, so I wonder if this is heating up for, I bet that's gonna heat up for some, some kind of fries or something. The food in these tea huts is usually dynamite. It's all fresh. Yeah, you know, they, they, they cut the potatoes for the french fries. Yes. They collect all the greens. It's yep. just always good and fresh food. So I can't wait to see, uh, wow, big kitchen in the back. That's where her washing station is. Some hot water here. Probably for cooking, I guess, with a pot like that. You can see back here. This is uh, this is her water tap. So this is where she'll do all of her dishwashing and I assume it all drains kind of in the back there. More greens. Uh, very nice, I can't wait to see how uh, how her cooking goes. But wow, this definitely warms the whole place, this one wood fire. So a dual kind of cook and heat. And this is, uh, looks like stuff for sale maybe or something. Oh, this might be a bedroom actually. Somebody's, uh, somebody's bedroom back here. And then just stuff, I assume, for sale. Let's see what else. Okay, so an indoor, indoor uh, communal dining area. So I bet somebody probably sleeps here. And mushrooms, yeah? Yes. Mushrooms. Yeah, cool. Big sitting area. So I imagine if it's raining or something, you might sit in here. Ah. This is the, uh, the prayer corner. What is that, Jim? The prayer corner. Prayer corner. Yeah, wow. every morning and evening they would have a like kind of uh, incense in here and yeah. pray for God, their Almighty. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Buddhist. Yeah, Buddhist. Yeah. Uh, and the picture of the Lai Lama and some yeah. Buddhist monks are here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And then, do uh, most uh, Buddhists are they Tibetan Buddhists or well? These people who are surrounding the mountain are yes. basically from Tibet. So okay. their tradition, culture, languages, everything is similar to Tibet. I see, so I see. And did they, did they flee Tibet when China came over? Or yes, is that, oh, uh, okay. it was like century back. Okay. There was a problem with China and Tibet. So okay. people are crossing the mountain, coming uh, to Nepal and start living in Nepal. I mountain. see, and, yeah. and then they're, they're, Nepal, they're Nepalese citizens. Yeah. Later on, our late king realized that there is a, these type of people living in mountain right. uh, with a hard life. So yeah. the king decided to give them a, a citizens, I a see. Nep Nepalese citizens. I see, them, I see. They become Nepalese. I see. So now they're totally Nepalese, can speak Nepali, and right. they're following our rules right. and regulations. Okay. And you said a gen that was like a generation ago? Yes, generation ago. Okay, yeah. all right. So these are sort of like the these older people are, yes. are like the grandchildren of the original yes. pilgrims or the children of okay yeah. all right so just kind of as the bloodline flows yes. yeah amazing and then how long has this uh family been running this tea hut do you have uh, an idea of that this would be around 25 to 30 years oh wow wow long time <laughs> around 30 years yeah 30 years and this is her husband yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. All right. So I can see the potatoes. So this is what they're gonna chop up for our forest lunch. Chips. Yeah. The potato chips. Chips and Mexican. chips. Yeah. Yeah. So cut, fry. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Just again, you, it, it's hard to beat the freshness of the food out here. Lunch has been served, and it is quite the spread. Mm -hmm. So I have chow mein mix, and I can see greens. Mushrooms, egg, yak cheese, noodles. Granite, what you went with the fried rice? Egg fried rice. Egg fried rice, nice. How's have you, have you tasted it yet? Yeah, it's delicious. Delicious? Nice. Alright. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good. And Cedar, how is your macaroni and cheese? Good. You like? It's a big quantity. You guys both have massive portions. Yeah. And Cal, you got veg. I got the veg chow mein. Chow mein. It so is delicious. I yeah. imagine our food will taste a lot alike. Yeah. But mine just has a few more like eggs. You and have a few more whatnot, mushrooms. Delicious stuff in it. Forest. How's the French fries? 
two coats. Uh, okay, two all right. Coats, so these are the final product of the french fries that the guy gave me a hand cut, and fried at homemade. home. Homemade ketchup. Mm -hmm. mm. Perfect. All right, so we are gonna experiment a little bit with Forrest. So right now, um, he is, before he was always hiking like way ahead of us, but now we're gonna keep Forrest a little closer, but we're gonna float behind him because he seems like he's getting tired, ready for a nap. Should be a pretty good little, uh, pretty good little strategy. Thank you, Sarah, thank you so much. Namaste, thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. Good. All right, delicious food. Yeah. The best. Have a nice day. You too, thank you. All right, Cal. Yeah. So, good times, yeah? Good times, delicious food. We're pretty, nice uh, toilet. yeah. So would you say we're pretty high up on the mountain? I would definitely say we're high up on the mountain. Yes, yes. About as high as the time could ever get. Yes. All right, so we continue on to get even higher <laughs> on the mountain after you. Okay. All right, bye, thank you. All right, we continue on. It's better with Forrest, I think. Yeah. I figured I figured this would be the stop to keep him closer, and I think we're pretty right on. Yeah. Tired. He kind of gets it. He's getting into the routine, but he's also tired now. So yeah, should helps. be good. All right, looks like um, pretty big rock scramble, some steps. Ah, uh, was saying uphill for most of the rest of the day fall with some flat towards the end and then one last little push up so okay we're gonna put the camera away for a little while and just sort of get our minds into hiking mode as we start getting closer and closer to our final destination in the evening hi all right getting there Boom. That fast. That fast. Wow. Right I thought that was going to be like a whole like production and saws. It was just like snap, crack, boom. Now Grant's got his hiking stick. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. It was a mental struggle. Yeah, a mental struggle for sure. But here's the deal. We had high energy all the way through lunch. Eating a big lunch. Those meals were so good. But so filling. Right now, what I'm seeing is just everyone is sort of in the hiker zone. Not a lot of talking. They're just sort of going through the going through the hike. It's not a bad place to be. Nobody's crabby. Nobody's upset. We're just sort of in the zone. We've got oh, I would say if I had to guess, about two more hours. At least it's shaded and uh, with that sun beating down on us but uh yeah very pretty but it's definitely an up an up kind of day right now all right the perfect moment in time our first suspension bridge coming up and it is a nice looking suspension bridge. Woohoo! Kelly snapping a couple of photos <laughs> and tripping. <laughs> hey, don't do that. So, what an excellent suspension bridge. Our first one of the trek. If you want to get a little more inside info, follow us on Instagram, Backpack Family. Kelly is posting and working hard to grow that channel as well. And uh, yeah, you'll, good. you'll get a lot more kind of inside info on, on we'll the, uh, on on the each channel. Other. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, our first suspension bridge. Oh, and it's a bouncy one. Woo! You see all the flags. Wow, it is really bouncy. Probably because there's four of us on it right now. What do you think, Cal? Really it's a good one. Yeah. Now you can see the old bridge that was damaged in the earthquake so this is the new bridge because of the earthquake a bit higher but yeah there's the old one right there 
All the prayer flags. Man, that's great. And I do believe we're gonna pass a couple of these on the track. So this is a uh, suspension bridge number one. All right, Granite, your first, well, not your first, the first suspension bridge that you might remember. What'd you think? Good. It's a good one? Yeah. Cool, that's a nice one. Whew. And away we go. And it looks like just down the way here is another tea house, a little tea hut. And this one is much smaller. So I imagine the further we go, the less complex they're going to be. There'll be like less outbuildings and all that. I don't know. That's just my guess. But just think about to get these supplies out here. All this would have had to come up on mule or donkey or whatever. So maybe there'll be less and less extravagant the further we go. I don't know if I can find the name of this one, but it looks nice. It's really pretty. I like the blue, blue and the white. Oh, and they have a shop as well. So an opportunity. Oh, there's uh, there's the fam. Okay, so maybe we're gonna have a little chill spot. Hello, namaste. That's very pretty making so she must be making all of these quilts now the idea of buying anything that's really soft but the idea of buying anything now as we're trekking out i don't think so but we will pass back through here and it's all cute i mean that's adorable little stuff like that would be kind of fun if we had any sort of like uh gift needs i don't know what these are i thought camera shops but maybe not yeah Okay, so just kind of hang here for a minute and we'll continue on. I live right behind the rock here. That was the uh, first suspension bridge. That was awesome. That was a good one. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't lose my phone. Yeah, or the camera. It would have been a real short uh, little playlist. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, well, it looks like we're going to chill here for a minute and we'll continue on. Yeah. Forrest is looking uh, kind of happy there too. Everybody's just sleepy. We're there. You're gonna give up right now. I was gonna rest for like an hour. Yeah. I'll be up in a it's minute. It's just too, it's too, too far up. <laughs> <sighs> the Llama. The Llama Hotel. Llama Llama Red Pajamas. We made it. We made it. I want my pajamas. Yeah, I want, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Now, if I'm looking and my eyes don't deceive me, this might be a hot water tank. But I could be totally wrong. Is it this side? That right there. Is it this side or that one? To me, it might be a hot water tank. I don't know. I saw but a hot water sh that What's that? I saw them going up that Oh, okay. Way. They're right here. See, do I see them? Uh, yeah, hot water shower would be great. Although I am super hot and sweaty, so a cold water shower might be just as refreshing. Up we go. The llama. Hotel. Okay. Namaste. Thank you. We made it. Not too shabby. Ah. Okay. You can do it. I'm done. Boy. Take my pack off. Yeah, totally done. Granted, you got the right idea. Mm -hmm. Pack off. Watering down. Ooh. Okay, so we'll get the uh, we'll get the uh, layout of the land here in just a minute. But there's all types of cool things to investigate. Yeah, this but, is cool. Yeah, it is cool. Really cool. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Well, is this the Lama Hotel? I don't. Uh, maybe it is. It does say 0.95 kilometers. So maybe this is not the Lama Hotel. Is this the, is this the Lama Hotel? Uh, it's called Rimche Danda. Rimche. Yeah. Rimche. Hello? This is where we're staying or we're staying at the Lama? No, we'll go to 15 more minutes, Lama ah, Hotel. Okay. Yeah. Okay, everyone, guess what? False alarm, the Lama Hotel is 15 more minutes away. This is just a little rest stop. Like so. Joke. But no uphill anymore. Yeah. Phew. Well, 
Not quite Llama Llama Red Pajama. I withdraw everything I just said. Yeah. But in 15 minutes, we'll uh, we'll get there. So water, rest, water. and then we will push on. Water, right? No ups. Huh? Guaranteed by Ajun. Totally flat. All right. Nepali flat. Nepali flat. I like that. I like that. Okay, we we'll drink some water and we'll uh, push on here in just a few minutes. We have now officially made it to the Llama Hotel. Confirmed. This is not a mirage like the other place. So, the time is just about 4.30. We'll stop the official time once we take our packs off. But all in all, not a bad day. Once we get up there and get settled, we'll sort of do a debrief. We'll certainly do a room tour and we will show you the food. Get the map. Oh, and the map. Yeah, kind of highlight the, the map. Granite, how's it feel to be at the Llama Hotel? Thankful. Thankful, he says. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's a good way to, that's a good disposition. Yeah. Yeah, thankful. Okay, it looks like maybe this is it. The original Llama Hotel. Since 1976. Wow. Okay. We'll have a look on the inside. I know, we made it. made it. So we're either gonna be here, up there. This looks like the... This whole time. What's that, Cedar? It was open the whole time. Oh, did you lose anything? No. Oh, phew. So we are gonna stay in this main outbuilding here. The bathrooms are in here, so easier at night and all that. And then these rooms here, the bathroom is outside around the back of the building. So we'll stay in the main building. And what are the two choices? So why is this? Okay, this is a single, two singles. This might be where the kids sleep. And then what do we have over here? This, this one, okay. I bet Kelly and I and Forrest will take this room and Granite and Cedar will take the other room. Does that sound okay? And another one is here. Oh, okay. Be across? Okay. Two of three. Two of three. Cool. Okay, so we have three, three rooms. We can have two of them. Uh, bathroom. Okay, a little squatty potty. Easy enough. The bathroom tour. Oh, got a nice view out the window. Hot water tank. Okay. Hot shower would be at the back side. Oh, there's a hot shower. Can you show me where that one is? Yep. It looks like electricity. Yep. Okay, so uh, it's from a solar panel. Okay, okay. And, uh, at night it will be. It'll be on. Okay, and there are plugs in the room. Yes. Okay, cool. So that's all we uh, need. Charging plug, probably not. We have to charge in a counter. Oh, okay. So this is for the light only. So there's yes. not plug-in plugs here. Where would that be? Uh, that would be in a counter. Take a look at this. In dining hall. That one. Yeah, the dining. Okay. So we'll take a look around the property. So there are no electrical plugs in the bedrooms with our lights. And then if we wanted to charge our devices, we have a few batteries to charge it from the GoPro. Here's the dining hall. Yeah, lots of silver. There's the wood stove. That'll be on for our dinner. Wood stove here. And this is just sort of the leisure area. Yep. Okay. Cool. Looks great. And where's the shower? Shower is Okay, oh, she's gonna start the fire here in just a minute, probably to start getting things cooking for our dinner. And does the hot shower cost extra money? Uh, yes. Okay, how much does that cost? Not so much, probably uh, 500 each or 300 each, something like that. Okay, so between three and 500, not bad. Okay, yeah, there you go. So you got a proper uh, shower head there. Hot water, yeah, you can see the on off valve. Drains right down on the floor. Okay, cool. So, looking good. Kelly, how do you feel? I feel good. Good. I'm tired, wiped yep. out. All the ingredients for a good adventure. Think you'll sleep well tonight? Yeah, oh. I need to sleep right now. It was quite <laughs> hard day today because we gained almost like 1100 meter elevation. Wow. wow. And tomorrow we're getting a little bit uh, similar as today. Okay. okay. And then after we have a smooth every day. Okay, okay, so the first two days are the hardest and then it sort of it goes more mellow. Yeah. The views open up. So uh, tomorrow's another jungle day. 50% uh, jungle and then open valley. Oh, cool. Oh, so cool. we will get open valley tomorrow. Cedar? Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. Good day? Yes. Yeah? What's uh, what's your body feel like? My body feels like it wants to go on the iPad and eat, and eat food and drink water. So your body is craving iPad, food, and water. 
that's a that's not bad. Do you, does anything feel particularly tired? Like your feet, your legs, your back, anything my like that? Feet and my legs. Legs and feet. All right. Well, I have a hunch there might be some iPad in your future. How's that sound? Yeah. All right. All right. We'll find out. Granted, how you doing, buddy? Tired. Tired. And in pain. And in pain. What's sore? Feet, legs, back. What do you legs. think? Legs. Legs. All of them. Yes. I would say. Well, just the legs actually. Yeah. So you know what Cedar said she needed for her body to feel better? Water, food, and my bed. <laughs> exactly that. Did you hear? Wow, okay, I was gonna say, you guys the same brain. But I also want that. You also want those same three things in that order? Water, food, and iPad? Or do you want iPad, food, water? iPad, water, food. iPad, water, food. You gotta have priorities. Hmm. Kelly, the kids said they need iPad, water, food, in that order. Oh, that's a big thumbs down for mom. I just wanted to show you Forrest. Hi, Forrest. How you doing, buddy? Thumbs up? Okay, you have a little rest. Yes? What? Taco. You want what? Taco. You want a, a taco? Yeah. Taco? Taco sounds delicious. I don't know if it's on the menu, but they might have some other yummy stuff. Okay. All right, you just hang here for a little bit. Okay, so that is it. We're going to rest, zone out, and uh, touch base with you here in a little bit. All right, so we have ordered dinner, and I just want to give you a quick little peek here about what life is like uh, while we wait for dinner to cook. So we uh, ordered popcorn that came mm. out. I'm just doing some editing real quick. I'm uploading all the footage from today's camera onto here. Uno, chilling. Chilling. And it's just us. Well, I, us and our, like our, our, uh, our, our team. Our team. Our support our team. team. Yeah. Which is crazy. I think, I mean, yeah, that's it. It's quiet. I it's took a hot. The clouds are coming in. Yeah, yeah, it's getting a little bit like it's gonna rain. So I did take a hot shower. Felt great, super clean, and um, everyone else did not. So uh, sorry for you. We're guys. gonna be stinky. Stinky. I'll be clean. Okay, so we're gonna sign off until dinner. It's a little cooler. I grabbed the jacket, uh, but we just got the word that dinner is ready or just about ready. Uh, we'll head in. Everyone else is already in here. Everybody went dog bot tonight. So, well, not everybody. Most of us went dog bot tonight, but you can see the kitchen. Um, um, and this madam cooked all this food for everybody. A huge pot of rice. You've got your greens with the dog bot. Uh, some fried potatoes, looking good. And then there's the fire. Here's a pancake for forest, spaghetti for cedar, multiple rounds of dog bot. And then we'll eat in here, but you can see she got all of her kitchen here. Mm -hmm. Her garden is just right out the store. So we ordered ginger tea. And I watched her from her garden actually pull the ginger up from right over there. So she pulled the ginger up to her garden cedar, yeah? Pretty cool? Yeah. That's where most of our dinner came from. So either way, she pulled the ginger up and she grated it right fresh for our tea. So it's gonna be pretty tasty tea. All right, and then everyone's getting dog bought. We got the spaghetti here for Forrest. I'm Forrest. Spaghetti. You don't want noodles? Okay, well, we'll pass it over to Cedar. All right, so spaghetti for Cedar plain, sauce on the side. Better look at the dog bought. So the fried potatoes, herbs, greens. What's the cracker called again? What's this called? Popper. What? Popper. Yeah, popper. Yeah. Papadum. Papadum. Yeah, that's the name I know. <laughs> this is the lentil. Lentil soup. Lentil soup. Yep. It gets poured right yep. on. So, Granite, you're becoming a pretty much a doll bot expert. Pretty excited? Yeah. Nice. Cedar, got the noodles pumped up? Yeah. All right. Steamy. Yeah, it's nice and hot. And then this guy, pancake. Yeah, hmm? Pizza. Pizza? Oh, yeah. Well,. They use the yak cheese pizza, which in turn, when he eats it, he thinks it's spicy is the word he uses, but uh, so it's not his favorite cheese. So he says pizza, but no pizza. All right, Cal, how is this doll bot? This is delicious. Um, it's like hearty and filling, and it's uh, that doll, the doll bot is, um, just pour it right over the rice. Yeah. And it's almost like a stew kind of. Yeah. Oh, and here's your ginger tea. And it, it, everything's fresh. Everything's right from here. The the potatoes have cilantro all over them, so they're super fresh tasting. And I haven't tried the greens yet. I'll do that right now. I'm pretty sure they're growing right here on property, though. Yeah, I'm sure of it. 
They're tasty. very, very, very tasty. Nice. Cedar, how are the noodles? Good. Yeah? Mm. Plain old noodles? This is yep. good. All right. Dinner was great. And it's about uh, 8.15 going on midnight is how it really feels. <laughs> Granite yeah. Cedar are asleep. Force is asleep. That's pretty much been this entire Nepal experience, honestly, <laughs> uh, which isn't too bad since we've been hiking. So uh, yeah. forest is out. We're not too far from bed, but yeah. just to highlight on the map. We did this trail, the lower one, and made it all the way up. There you go. And that was really fun. Yeah, it's all, all canopy, which was nice because the sun yeah. did come out and we had plenty of shade for that. And, and we got to follow the river the whole way, which yeah, was really cool. Yeah, that was really very cool. cool. And so the ultimate goal, eventually, we're going to get all the way down and do all the uh, the glacier stuff here. Yeah. Our last day, we'll be doing this loop here. Right. And where are we going tomorrow, Kel? So tomorrow, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we leave Llama Hotel, and we are going to all the way to Mundu. Mundu up here. Okay. So about the same length and about the same amount of hours. Um, it sounds like the first four hours of hiking will be in the in the forest. Um, then we'll have lunch, and then after that, we will head up above tree line, mm -hmm. about a thousand meters, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, be hiking up in the rocks, which will be fun. Yes, it will. So pretty excited about tomorrow. Yeah. So today, today highlights certainly just the hike in general is beautiful. Yeah. It was really fun. It's great to be back in Nepal, stretching our legs. Yeah, exercising and uh. Working out the kinks. Yeah, of kids. A long kids, time of not. Kids actually. did great. Really uh, yeah. good on a seven-hour trek. Now we'll see what tomorrow how, how that goes. Feeling. But right now everyone's feeling good, but everyone's tired now. Yeah, tired. So <laughs> I think tomorrow will be just as good, and we're pretty excited to bring you that episode as yeah. we work our way further down the Long yeah. Tong Trail from Llama Hotel to Mundo tomorrow. Excellent. Well, should be great. We'll see you then. Have a good one. Hey, real quick before you go, I just want to say how beautiful Nepal truly is and what an epic journey we're having. If you want to support the channel, the best things you can do is like, subscribe, and share this video. Share the video with your family, friends, on social media. All of that will help our channel grow. Join us on Instagram for additional Nepal content. Woohoo! All right, everybody. We will see you in the next episode.